Hey, good morning and welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Today we're going to be testing the throttle position sensor on this 1997 Jeep Cherokee with an inline six. Now I took off the air box cover here so you guys could have a better look at this. This is a three wire, three wire throttle position sensor. There's a rod going all the way through this little butterfly valve right here. And as this, as you push on your throttle, push on your gas, it turns this mechanism, which your throttle position sensor in there, turns that. And as this turns, there's a little bit of resistance in here. Let's hook up a multimeter on the back side here. We'll find our ground, our power supply, and our sensor. So we are gonna hook our multimeter up to a good ground. Here, uh, this is long enough, so I'm just gonna hook it to the battery. Turn the multimeter on to 20 DC volts. We're gonna turn the ignition on, but not start the vehicle. Okay, now we can back probe these three wires. First one here, five volts. So that's my power supply. The second one here, 0.86. So that should be my sensor. The third one, nothing. So that's my ground. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this probe in this sensor here. Now this is in the way, let me get this out of the way. So with my probe in the sensor wire, as I turn this, we should watch this number slowly creep up. 0 0.86, 0 0.9, 1.1. 1 .1. It should go up nice and smooth and slowly up to about four and a half volts. Let's give it a test. It should not jump backwards. 0.991, 1, 1.1, 1, 1, 1. 1.2. Two, two, one. Right there, we're getting some weirdness. So let's go back to that. So two, five, two, seven, two, eight, three, two, three, five, four. And then right there, it clicks back. Yeah, 4.1. So up there, a little bit above three. Here, I'll slowly increase again. Up about three, it jumps down, and that's a dead spot in the sensor. Yeah, see, it jumps down right there. Should not do that. So we're gonna swap out this sensor, put in our new one, and we'll test this new one as well, just to show you guys the difference in the voltages. So this sensor just unplugs, and then there's two little T20 bolts on the back here. And I should also mention that this process works with a cable controlled throttle body like this. This process won't work with a digitally controlled throttle because you just, you can't move it the same way to test it. Another note, I did clean this throttle body because I knew I was having issues, some weird issues with the throttle, with it starting, something weird was going on. So the very first step I did was take this throttle body completely off. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this video once we're done testing here. But like I said, I'd already done that. That's a good first step. A dirty throttle body, dirty sensors can cause similar symptoms. Just weirdness and idle and starting, which this Jeep was also doing that. It was doing some weird idle um, when my daughter would shut it off, or not shut it off, when she would park, sometimes the idle would be up, gosh, what was it up, like 2,000 or something? Too high. Okay, got our new sensor installed, our wire hooked up to back probe it here. Already on that sensor wire, I'm getting a lower reading, 0.7. Let's see what happens when we move our throttle up here. Nice and smooth the whole way. 
So obviously that previous sensor had some dead spots in it. Let me show you how to clean your throttle body, which can also cause some of these weird symptoms. All right, let's start out by getting our air box out of the way here. My clamp is loose. We're just stuck on there good, but here it comes. Ah, there we go. Ah, that was easy. Whew. Just gonna push some of these cables down. There are these connectors. Get these guys off of here. So we can remove this throttle body. And the other reason why I'm starting with this project as far as diagnosing this is it's a super easy, almost free, all I had to do was buy a new throttle body mounting gasket. These are like five bucks or less. I'll link these in the description below. Pick up one of those and then otherwise, all you gotta do is clean this up. Super easy. Uh, here we have our mass airflow sensor. We're gonna disconnect that. Our throttle position sensor. Let's uh, disconnect that guy. And our idle air control sensor on the back side here. Get that out of the way. Now we've got four little 10 millimeter bolts. And with that, it'll lift off. And what I didn't want to do was just start throwing parts at this. I don't like that. I don't like just throwing parts at something if you don't have to. So quick, easy, and uh, often effective. Something needs to be done regardless. So this throttle body, I mean, it's definitely got some carbon buildup on it. But our sensors, our idle air control sensor here, We'll uh, take this off. I'm not gonna separate it here, but just right here, take the sensor out. We'll do that, show you that. That'll be all gummed up with carbon as well, and that can affect the starting the vehicle as well. We'll just blow this all out, clean it up with some uh, uh, throttle cleaner. It'll be looking much better here in just a second. Little T20 bit on here. So much better now, throttle's all cleaned up, sensors are all cleaned out, look good. Now let's move on to removing the old gasket. I'm gonna start by sticking a little rag down in here so I don't get little bits of debris falling down there. If I do, hopefully the rag will catch it and I can pull it out with that. Pull off our old gasket. And this uh, intake manifold here is aluminum, so Want to be real careful not to scratch it. There we go. Well, gasket came off no problem. Surface actually looks pretty darn good. New gasket. Fit on just like so. Let's get a rag out of there. And we can put it all back together. Everything is out of the way. Let's see if it fires up first try. No problem. If you don't have yourself a multimeter, I will be sure to include an Amazon link in the description below of this one that I'm using. I really like it, super handy tool. Let's see if we can do a hat toss here. 
one try. Hey, not bad.